Who else knew that August 12th was sewing machine day? I didn't, but it's a great day to celebrate. So in honor of that day, I thought I would demonstrate how to sew the spool quilt block together. This is a very old time quilt block and very versatile. You can make all kinds of wonderful designs with it. Hi, this is Penny Halgren from QuiltBlockLibrary.com and QuiltBlockLibrary.tv. The pieces are all cut and ready to sew together, so let's go over to the sewing machine. This is a really easy quilt block to sew together. It's a nine patch and it just has squares and half square triangles. So I'm going to start by sewing the half square triangles together and then we'll have squares and we can sew all the squares together. Now I've got all squares and I'm ready to sew them together. So I'll just fold these over and sew these first two columns together. Now I'll add this column of patches on and just fold those over and sew them together. Now that the columns are sewn together, all I have to do is fold these down and sew the rows together. With the top two rows sewn together, I just need to add this bottom row and then the block will be finished. Our spool block is all finished and ready for a quilt or a wall hanging. This block is really easy and probably because of the name, it offers some interesting opportunities. I've taken fabric in the top and the bottom that look like uh, wood that, that look like it has a wood grain in it, and those are the outside of the spool. And then in the center, I've taken some white fabric that has kind of black lines through it to make it look like thread. So you can take any other kind of striped fabric that you want for the center and make it kind of a jazzy, fun little spool-looking kind of quilt block. Thanks for joining me. This is Penny Hallgren signing off from QuiltBlockLibrary.com and QuiltBlockLibrary.tv. If you're not already over there, head on over to QuiltBlockLibrary.com and download your free pattern of this quilt block. Thanks for joining me. Peaceful piecing.